Despite the fact that people seem to be taking pictures more with their cell phones these days, there's actually a boom of cool new cameras coming out right now, and some of the most interesting ones fill the gap between full-on professional DSLR and the portability of a point-and-shoot. So if you're ready to graduate from Instagram, or maybe you've already got a DSLR and want something a little more agile, these are the five cameras you're looking for. Compact cameras for advanced shooters, hand-selected by CNET senior camera editor, Lori Grunin. Starting off at number five, the Sony Cybershot DSC RX1. Now, it may be number five on this list, but it's actually the number one camera here in terms of photo quality. You get a full-frame professional-grade sensor and a stunning Carl Zeiss 35mm lens. Now, there's no optical viewfinder, but that's not why it's at the bottom of this list. So what's the catch? Well, how about a $2,600 price tag? You can spend the same amount on a nice DSLR with a lot more shooting flexibility, but if what you really want is something compact that doesn't sacrifice an inch on image quality, then this is the camera for you. Number four comes down to earth a bit. It's the Fujifilm X100S. Priced at $1,300, this retro-styled compact packs a great viewfinder and works well under manual control. You're dealing with a slightly smaller APS-C sensor and the lens is a little quirky, and the autofocus isn't the best, but the overall image quality is beautiful. Plus, it's a hip-looking camera. It's like a mustache and a beer cozy away from moving to Brooklyn. At number three, the Canon PowerShot G15. Finally, a camera that won't bankrupt me. It's also the last camera on this list that you'll see with an optical viewfinder. So if that's a must-have feature and you don't have a grand to drop, the G15 is your best bet. Now the image quality isn't quite the same as the last two cameras, but the lens is very fast and you can tease out some extra detail by shooting in RAW. It's not the hippest looking thing, but come on, who am I fooling? I don't even have any tattoos. I mean, tramp stamps don't count. Forget I said anything. Save even more cash with number two, the Canon PowerShot S110. At around $400, it's really just a glorified point and shoot, but it's good enough to get a nod of respect from serious photo nerds. It's also two generations removed from my favorite pocket camera, the Canon S95, which I managed to lose this year and still cry for every day. Like the S95 and the S100, the S110 offers a lot of manual control and will even shoot in RAW if you want to squeeze it for all it's got. No viewfinder and the touchscreen is a little bit more trouble than it's worth, but it's small enough to fit in any pocket and small enough to lose. But if you had to choose just one camera that hit all of the high notes on this list, fast lens, affordable price, manual control, raw image capture, and a pocket-sized design, you'd arrive right here at number one, the Sony Cybershot DSC RX100. Fast, bright Carl Zeiss lens, big old 20 megapixel sensor, adjustment ring right on the lens. Not the cheapest at $650, but worth every penny. This is the pocket point and shoot that puts all the rest to shame. So there you have it, five great cameras that will fill the void between your cell phone camera and a full-blown DSLR. For a few other recommendations, check out senior editor Lori Grunin's full roundup over at CNET.com. I'm Donald Bell, thanks for watching.